Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Miss Carmen. Are you better now? Yes, thanks. Yeah. Yes. I, uh, Thank you for us. Yes. I think I think you you took uh, medicine, right? Everything. Yes. Yes, I I, I had a headache. So okay. I very bad all to yesterday afternoon. So okay. I, mm -hmm. Do you do you suffer from migraine? migraine? No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Only only was a uh, throw up or I know, but I don't know why. Maybe maybe you were stressed or I don't know or maybe something you, that I ate. That you ate, maybe, right? Maybe. Okay. Right. But I'm glad to have to to have you back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. Here we go. One sec. Mr. Caesar, hello, sir. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. One sec. Everyone, by the way, I uh, replied to you. I texted you uh, in the morning with that feedback about the exercise we did yesterday using be going to, okay? You still have a chance to uh, do it uh, today or tomorrow so I can give you the feedback, all right? So la idea es darle seguimiento, ¿verdad? Y, y que quede un poquito más, <coughs> perdón. Más claro, la cuestión es el del be going to. Ese es el pan de cada día, ¿verdad? De nosotros, el be going to. All right? Todo lo que hacemos lo vemos, ¿verdad? Con, en aras del futuro, right? So thinking about the future. All right? This is the activity that I, that I assigned yesterday. And uh, right now I'm going to speak to everyone, but also to you, Miss, Miss uh, Carmen. Basically, what you have to do is like in a paragraph, write a story of what this lady is going to do today or tomorrow right so it's up to you so you can say uh today maria or anna or carmen or diana like somebody said to the door right um is going to wake up at six o'clock because she's going to work then she's going to have breakfast uh maybe uh sunny side up eggs with some coffee and after that she's going to have to work she's going to take a bus uh, at noon or up 2 p.m i guess she's going to meet uh, her best friend for lunch and they're gonna have lunch together and they're, they're they are going to eat uh, i don't know chicken with rice or or something else um and at night She's going to sleep or she's going to go to bed at 10, 15, right? She had a beautiful day, okay? She's going to have a beautiful day. Those are just ideas, right? My ideas. You can do better ideas, okay? Lo que pasó en el feedback que les di a algunos es que me habían escrito las oraciones en, en presente. So that's happening, whatever, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, I mean, it's okay. But right now we're doing, uh, we're talking about the future. All right. Este, la siguiente, el, el siguiente, la siguiente eh, frase que voy a decir es un poquito paradójica, ¿verdad? Esto del futuro, ¿verdad? Tuvimos que haberlo dejado en el pasado. <laughs> All right. If you see, if you get what I'm saying over there, right? ¿Verdad? Tuvimos dejar, dejarlo en el pasado porque el tema creo que era del día jueves. Pero como aquí se trata de aprender, ¿verdad? Y no es lo que el texto me dice o no dice. Se trata de aprender. All right. So that's why I'm insisting on this. Okay. That's what I'm insisting with you, everyone. Just one second, please. I want to make sure that this is recording. Yes. All right. There we go. So we're going to start the class with a different activity. It's going to be like, like a review. Vamos a hacer un poquito de español aquí, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se fijan, ¿verdad? Yo todo el tiempo y como a mí me gustó mucho esa estructura del be going to y gracias a Dios me la pude aprender. Yo ocupo más que cualquier will o lo ocupo más que el, el present continuous for future. 
yo ocupo el going to toda la vida. O sea, y quiero que esta noche ustedes hagan una práctica, no sé, cómo un examen de conciencia o una reflexión de decir, ok, el teacher o José está ocupando el going to y me está hablando del futuro, que vamos a hacer tal cosa, vamos a practicar, vamos a hacer tal cosa. Así usted se lo va a ir aprendiendo inconscientemente. So unconsciously you're going to do that. Right? Ok. So try to do that, please. And try to use it. So when you're in a breaker room and you have to practice and you talk to your classmates, so speak. And say, okay, so this is what we're going to do. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. This is what we are going to do. ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo se dice? Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. This is what we are going to do. Or this is what we're going to do. All right? So my advice, my friends, o sea, el consejo o sugerencia que les puedo dar es, si usted se va a referir a alguna actividad futura, ocupe el going to cuando practiquemos en los breaker rooms independientemente que no sea el tema que estemos, que estemos viendo. Porque o sea, sería un desperdicio y una pena de que usted no ocupe esta gramática eh, que es muy útil. All right? Because you're learning English, ¿verdad? Estamos aprendiendo inglés, no para que quede en papel ni en mi teléfono, ¿verdad? Eh, traspapelado, como sea, sino que para que mejoremos, ¿verdad? El idioma. That's at least, that's my compromise or that's the compromise that I have with Every single one of you, ¿verdad? Ese es el compromiso que yo tengo con ustedes. And I know that the sacrifices that you uh, make are huge. Yo sé que ustedes hacen muchos sacrificios, ¿verdad? Estar ahí en la casa, ¿verdad? A veces estamos convalecientes o estamos en medio, ¿verdad? De, de alguna situación. So I appreciate you, that you join the class early. All right? So this is what we did yesterday. Okay. And basically what we did is to go over, ¿verdad? Revisar, go over the steps to purchase or to buy online. And number one, uh, what you do is, it, you remember that this is uh, through an online website, ¿verdad? Esta, la compra que, que se hace es la que estamos haciendo en línea, ¿verdad? And this is what we did. And we were supposed to follow some steps. Y seguimos algunos pasos por ahí. So first of all, You need to go to the website, right? This is just an example, right? Solamente es un ejemplo. You need to go to the website. Then you need to look for the item. Solamente estoy parafraseando lo que está acá, ¿verdad? Espero que ustedes hagan una, como una línea de tiempo, una timeline in, in, your, in your head. Then you have to check the price. Uh, or you need to log into your account, ¿verdad? En realidad, si usted quiere comprar, tiene que unirse, abrir sesión, perdón, logging into your account. Then confirm the method of payment. Um, once everything is, is double checked, ya cuando usted se ha cerciorado, ¿verdad? Que no le van a robar el dinero, ¿verdad? O que todo está bien ahí. Then you confirm it, the information and submit it. Uh, okay, and you did this, by the way. In real life, we use the logic, right? Ocupamos la lógica. And you, you are experts over there, right? You are uh, adults. You know how this works. The last thing that I asked you to do is Pay attention to the vocabulary. Les dije, pongámosle atención, ¿verdad? Pongámosle ojo a este vocabulario. And some of you actually did this uh, activity already. ¿Verdad? Algunos de ustedes, de hecho, hasta se adelantaron, ¿verdad? Ustedes fueron. Uh, you did this in advance. In advance, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo dice, verdad? Hacer algo, ¿verdad? Con antelación. In advance. ¿Verdad? En avance. In advance. ¿Ok? Um, o de antemano, ¿verdad? La misma expresión usted va a decir, y es literal en inglés, fíjese. Before hand, antemano, de antemano, before hand, ¿ok? So, bolts, son los pernos, nails, eh, cuando usted hace el manicure, <ríe> son las uñas, para en this case, ¿verdad? Pablito clavó un clavito, ¿verdad? Right? Eso es el, el clavo, ¿verdad? Nails, ¿ok? Uh, knots. Fíjense que cuando alguien está desquiciado, y esa es la palabra correcta, all right, usted dice, you are nuts, all right, está loco, ¿verdad? Está, no sé, enfermo, dice la gente por acá, o decimos, nuts, es estar loco, y si le quita la S, es maní, ok, not, all right, y en el contexto en plural, de usted dice, I like nuts, solo así lo deja, 
porque la comida en ese caso no se puede contar, ¿verdad? Como bean, ¿verdad? O beans. Pero en este caso es un... ¿Quién me dice? Nuts. Who can help me? Nuts. Tornillo. Eh, uh, tuercas. That is like a... Like a crazy. Tuerca. In this case, it's the nuts. Over there. Las tuercas. The nuts. All right? Remember, I'm not a mechanic, right? But I used to help my father fix his uh, truck, ¿verdad? No soy mecánico, pero le, por lo menos le pasaba las piezas a mi papá. Así que, <laughs> yeah, it's true. I used to do that, all right? I used to do that. <laughs> Miss Claudia says, yeah, she too, right? <laughs> all right, good. So, screw, este es el desarmador o el destornillador. No sé si los dos términos están correctos, ¿verdad? Eh, haciéndole la broma, my Spanish is not that good. La broma. <laughs> All right, so next one is screw that, a screwdriver, perdón, a screw es tornillo, ¿verdad? A screw. Entonces, por eso que el screwdriver es el desarmador o el, o el destornillador. Está el Felix y el otro, ¿verdad? El plano. A spanner, esta es la tenaza, esta, ¿verdad? This one, that's a spanner. And the staple, right? Como el, como el, el uh, Staple uh, World Center, creo que es en Los Ángeles, ¿verdad? Así se llama el lugar. Um, staple es una grapa, ¿all right? And the last one, ¿ok? Esto me hizo recordar, ¿verdad? Cuando le pasaba las piezas a mi papá, ¿verdad? La, the tools, él me decía, pasame la guacha. Él vivió en Estados Unidos como cuatro o cinco años, entonces él traía esa palabra, guacha. Y yo, ¿qué es eso, papá? What's that, right? And then he told me la arandela. Oh, ok. So washer, right? Arandela, okay? To, to fasten a, 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 a nut, all right? In a, in a screw, all right? Entonces para, para, para afianzar, okay? So basically what we're doing is using the demonstrative uh, pronouns, ¿verdad? La palabra that, de eso o de esa, those, esos o esas, all right? And this, this, and el plural, ¿verdad? Que es este. These son pronombres demonstrativos porque usted está diciendo, hey, de eso estoy hablando. So I'm talking about this. All right? I'm talking about that. So this activity is, uh, le están diciendo lo que no es, ¿verdad? Entonces, they're telling you what this is, right? Then you have to look at the image. And then you say, this is not a chisel, right? Cincel, chisel, all right? This is spanner, all right? These aren't washers, ¿verdad? No son arandelas, que son, ¿verdad? Son tuercas. These are nuts, okay? And then you continue with her. So let's do this together, please, since I have more activities for you, all right? Si les parece, vamos a hacerlos uh, todos uno a la vez, okay? As a class, and then we will, we will move on, all right? Hold on. Uh, just one second. I will send uh, to you the uh, the access to that activity, ¿verdad? En estos instantes, de hecho, les estoy mandando el acceso a este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Para que usted lo tenga ahí a la mano. Uh, just one second, please. All right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Elizabeth. All right. Remember that you can do this activity uh, one, two, or three times, all right? The idea is to practice. So if you didn't get a perfect score, you can do this again. So you can uh, get a better score, all right? You can do it two times if you want. There you have the link, all right? Go ahead, please click on that one, and let's try to practice, all right? I'll be choosing a couple of you to help me uh, complete one, two, three, Four, five, ¿verdad? Vamos a elegir un par de victims, ¿ok? Para que me ayuden a completar el ejercicio and then we move on, ¿verdad? Y continuamos, por favor. All right. One moment, please, as I'm sharing this. There we go. Okay. Let's see who we have in the house today, just to say your names. Um, no sé si ustedes se han fijado que yo en realidad no paso lista así, ¿verdad? Como que presente fulano, ¿verdad? O presente, eh, don o, o señorita. Eh, 
uh, sino que reviso más que todo en los breakout rooms. Por eso es que estoy, ¿verdad? De repente me dice la migra y voy, ok, aquí están. Inconscientemente yo reviso. <ríe> All right. Uh, así que ahorita ya los tengo bien cuadriculados. <ríe> ok. So I know who you are. All right. I know who you are. O sea, lo hago porque yo también tengo que pasar lista, ¿verdad? Después cuando termino los, los one on one sessions, a las diez y cuarto, ¿verdad? Me quedo cinco minutos más. Estoy ahí, ¿verdad? Pasando lista. That's what I do every single night, ¿verdad? Es mi rutina. Ok, so who would like to help me with number three? All right, I'm, I'm sorry about the size of, of the letters over there. No sé si ustedes ya se fijaron, ¿verdad? Pero bien pequeña, ¿verdad? Tiny, you know? It's the, the uh, words are tiny, ¿verdad? Eh, tiny. Eso significa, como decimos en español o en salvadoreño, no sé, eh, chiquito o pequeñito. Tiny, right? T-I-N-Y. T-I-N-Y. Tiny. Algo, es algo bien pequeño. Ok. So, who can help me with number three, please? Esto no es un cincel. This is in a chisel. Ajá. Uh -huh. May I have a volunteer, please, for number three and four, please? All right? A volunteer, please. Come on, my friends. All right? It's a uh, spanner. This is spanner, right? Correct. So it, this is, I'm sorry. This is a spanner, correct. Okay. Could you help me, Mr. Uh, Caesar, with number four, please? This is uh, this aren't mm -hmm. this aren't washer washers. These uh, are not. These are not. All right. Nuts. Thank you, sir. Okay. Just to let you know, uh, because this is how uh, the exercise is designed, right? El ejercicio está diseñado que todas las primeras partes de estos espacios, so all of this is uh, all of these spaces are negative, okay? The first part is negative, the second part is positive, okay? So that is the clue, esa es la pista, all right? That's the clue. Okay, can I have somebody else that uh, could help us with number five and number six, please? Quien nos brinda su valioso ayuda o aporte with number five and six, Miss, Miss, Miss Carmen, all right, go ahead, please. Number five, this isn't All right. a nail. This is a staple. This is a staple, correct. Okay. Six, please. Uh, these aren't nuts. Mm -hmm. um, these are bolts. These are bolts. Okay. These are, these are, these are, are. nuts, right? I'm sorry. Sorry. You're right. Are bolts. These are bolts. Okay. Thank you. And the next one, please. Uh, seven and eight. Please. Another volunteer, please. All right. Another volunteer, please. Who says me? All right. Elizabeth, right? All right. Go ahead, please. Yo, Sonia. Oh, Sonia. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Seven. Yes. That isn't a staple. That's a screw. That's a screw. All right. Um, eight. Do those aren't notes. Those are washers. Washers in there. Okay. I appreciate your help, everyone. Thank you, Miss Miss Sonia. All right. Now, uh. You're going to repeat after me, all right? Please. Lo típico que le dice un, 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 un profesor, ¿verdad? De inglés. Repeat after me, all right? Repeat after me right now. With your microphone off, we will start with number one, two, three, four, and until we finish in there. The idea is to uh, emphasize that pronunciation of this and these by I, se dice this this como que fuera una i chiquita verdad y es corto this 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 y luego estos es these 
this, hasta como con una zzz, como el, el, el sonido o el zumbido de una abeja. Zzz, this. Si no hace el sonido de la, de la zzz, por lo menos diga this. Que sea una I bien sonora y larguita. ¿Ok? This. This. Cortito. This. ¿Ok? This. Hasta yo levanto la mano, ¿verdad? Un tick. This. This. ¿Right? Esto. This. Estos. ¿Ok? Ahora, esto. Perdón. Eso. Eso o esa. That. ¿Right? That. Y lo otro es those. 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 Those people. That person. Right, this uh, this person, uh, these people. Right, is there any questions for me about this about the pronunciation? No, okay. Here we go. All right, I will. Uh, we, we're not gonna do everything, right? We're just gonna do uh, the uh, odd numbers. Vamos a hacer los números impares, verdad? Comenzando desde el, starting from number one. So that is in a hammer. Um, that's a screwdriver. This is in a chisel. This is a spanner. This is in a, a nail. I'm sorry. This is in a nail. This is a staple. That is in a staple. That's a screw. All right. Let's make the intonation more there, please. All right. Intonation and uh, punctuation words. Lo que cuenta en el inglés muchas veces es la entonación que usted le da a las palabras y los signos de puntuación, ¿verdad? Si es admiración, ¿verdad? Usted va a sonar, ¿verdad? Así como que es eléctrico, ¿all right? ¿Verdad? Like you're happy, right? Uh, if it's a question, it, it needs to sound as it's, it's a question, right? Okay. Uh, may I have a volunteer, please, that can help us do the uh, even numbers? Even Aparte de significar aún, significa par. Un número par es even. E-V-E-N. E-V-E-N. Even number. All right? All right. So may I please have another volunteer that can help us practice, ya sea los odd numbers. ODD es impar. ODD es odd number. O los even numbers. Usted decide si va a ser los números pares o los impares. One volunteer. Please. So necesitaría dos voluntarios. So two volunteers I need. Over here. Please. All right. All right. Miss Karina, you're going to be the first one over there. Thank you so much. All right. You choose. All right. You choose. Uh, even numbers like two, four, six, and eight, ¿verdad? Números pares or the other ones. Excuse me? It's okay. All right, so, okay, go ahead, please. Okay. You choose. Uh, does Aaron crew? Does our snail? Uh, for this Aaron whisker, that's our snoot. All right, would you help us with the number, please, so we don't get lost? Nos ayuda con el número para que así nos guiemos mejor, por favor. Ah, okay. 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 Number two. All right. This uh, does are in screw, does are in nail. Okay. Number four. These are in watcher, these are in snoot. Okay. Uh, number six. These are in snoot, the does are balls. Okay. And uh, number eight. That's are in snoot. Those are watchers. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Just one thing I need to remind you of. ¿verdad? Solo una cosa necesito recordarles. Pronounce the S at the end, please. All right? Of a word. If it's a plural word, we need to pronounce the S. That is going to give you fluency, ¿verdad? Eso no va a dar fluidez. Decimos, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, los números sin pares, otra vez. That is in a hammer. That's a screw. A ver, esos son singulares. No, vamos a buscar los plurales. Number two. Those are in screws. Screws. Exageremos. So exaggerate. Screws. All right. Those are nails. All right. Um, number four. Uh, these. Y hay que hacer lo largo, verdad? El these de estos. These. 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 These are in washers. These are nuts. Uh, number six. These are in knots. 
These are bolts, all right? Number eight, uh, those are in knots, those are washers. Créame que hay que acostumbrarse a pronunciar las S para sonar un poquito mejor, all right? So you, you, and that way you're gonna sound better, okay. All right, can I have another volunteer, please, with the uh, add numbers, verdad, con los números impares? Can I have a volunteer, please, another volunteer, somebody else, please. Alguien que no haya participado, por favor. All right, go ahead, please. Um, number one, that is a uh, hammer that's a spirit driver. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, this is not a shy, this is a spinner. A spanner, right? Uh -huh. A spanner. Yes. And number five, this not a nail, this is a side fork. Mm -hmm. Yes. And seven. number seven, that is a stumble, a stumble that a crew. That's a screw. All right. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. All right, so as you can see, uh, everyone, uh, the negative is isen, verdad? Aren, isen, aren, isen, aren, all right? All right, and just like that, right? Isen, la T no se pronuncia, aren't, isn't. De hecho, la T, usted más o menos la pronuncia, pero no se escucha. Isn't, aren't, isn't, aren't, isn't, aren't, just like that, all right? That's it, we're gonna stop with this activity right now, all right? Let's move on with some something else. Okay, so let's do something else over here. Just one second. Um, we're gonna do a per activity or a group activity, all right, in a breaker room. And we're gonna do that right now. Before that, I'm going to share with you uh, the access to the activity right now, all right? Just to finish with the topic about demonstrative pronouns. Para terminar con este tema de los pronombres demostrativos, this, these, that, and those, we will complete the next activity, which I'm, I'm about to share with you. There you go. All right. Yes, there you go. I'm going to share the screen right now. All right. Let me share the screen. So this is what you're going to do in purse or in groups of three. And basically you need to decide which of, of uh, these words to use. As a reminder, let me tell you something, right? We use this if something is close to you and if it's singular, ¿verdad? Ocupamos this, así como está acá, ¿verdad? Solo con una I, si algo está cerca de usted o usted lo tiene en su posesión. This, esto. O esta. All right? This. We use that when something is uh, far, I would say. Or you cannot grab it. No lo puede usted tomar, ¿verdad? Con las manos. ¿Verdad? O tocar. They said that. Eso, ¿verdad? O esa cosa. Eh, we use this. Este que estoy eh, señalando. This con e, e ¿Verdad? Para decir esto, ¿verdad? Cuando son dos cosas, ¿verdad? Dice, ah, estos niños, dice usted, están aquí, ¿verdad? Están peleando, ¿verdad? Right? Que no, no guardan silencio. O estos muchachitos, ¿verdad? Decimos. <laughs> ok. Uh, and the other one is... Just one second. Let me erase this. Those. Significa esos. O esas. Entonces usted me puede decir, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, this es singular. Y el plural es these, ¿verdad? That is singular and the plural is those, ¿ok? And, and that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Is there any question for me right now? Is there any question for me right now? ¿Alguna consulta para mí en estos momentos? No? No questions, all right? I mean, this is the, the opportunity, right, for you, to, for you to ask me right now before I send you to practice in there. So in the exercise uh, that I'm sharing with you, you need to choose, all right? You need to choose the correct demonstrative 
pronoun, but el correcto. Dice, can you pass me this book beside you, please? Or the, can you pass me that book beside you? All right. Beside significa a la par suyo, ¿verdad? O que lo tiene, ¿verdad? Junto a usted. Beside. All right. Beside. So maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's these or those. All right. And let's say that I click on this one. And over here is going to appear good or wrong. Acá en este espacio le va a aparecer good or incorrect or wrong. And then you click next question and then you continue right there. When you finish, uh, send to me your score, all right? Attempts significa los intentos, ¿verdad? And total points, obviamente, su puntaje. That's where you're going to share with me your, as a screenshot. Después les pido de favor, lo hacen de forma individual o uno por grupo, ¿verdad? Si lo hacen grupal, me mandan captura de pantalla con sus scores, por favor. All right? Lo hago para sondear, no es que le pongo una nota en sí, sino que digo, ok, estamos bien acá. I need to re reinforce this. O refuerzo, tengo que reforzar el tema. All right? Good? All right. Are you ready to practice? Okay. Thank you. So I'm going to make the groups right now. So just one second. In the meantime, let's get familiar with the activity, ¿verdad? Usted puede comenzar a hacerlo de forma individual, ¿verdad? Eso no hay ningún problema, pero acuérdese que en el grupo se tiene que poner a prueba el conocimiento de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Entonces de eso se trata. Y si usted se adelanta de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Ya va a llevarle ventaja. And that's the idea, right? So you're going to have advantage over there. So just give me uh, 20 seconds as I make the breaker rooms right now. One second, please. And let's see here. Um, all right, so just one more, please. All right, so I'm opening the rooms right now as I'm speaking. So join the rooms, please. And I'll see you in there in a second, okay? Thank you. All right, so join the rooms, please. Thank you. Can you pass me mm -hmm. this book? Book beside you. Yes. Beside you, that book. Yes, that, 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 book. that book beside you, please. Yes. Si quiere, vamos una y una. Y es la primera, vamos con la segunda. No. The next one. The, the flowers. I know these flowers. This flower over there are not those flower or mm -hmm. this flower. Mm, those. Those flowers mm -hmm. over there. Okay. Next one. Uh -huh. And workers are more productive than those of oh, these workers. These workers. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, es this. Oh, so these. Uh -huh. No, this. Ah, oh, this. Mm -hmm. These. Okay, next one. He doesn't like these. These shoes here. These shoes. These, these or this. These, these or this. 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 Mm -hmm. these. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. 
How much is uh, here? Está en plural. Sí, está en plural. Ajá. Flowers over there. Entonces, they are not expensive. Tiene que ser. Hello, hello. Those, those, oh, no. Uh, Mr. Cesar, can you help me with, with the link over there, sir? I'm sorry. I, I also forget to, oh, ya se me olvida a mí porque estoy concentrado en otras cosas. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. Sorry. Let me interrupt you just for a second. Se me olvidó mencionarles algo. Si dice here o hace referencia que está cerca de suyo, es this de esto o this yes. de esto, ¿verdad? Si hace mm -hmm. referencia que está ahí o por algún lado, pero está lejos de ustedes, su alcance es over, over there. Que, que over there significa ahí, over there. Usted dice, páseme tal cosa, ah, it's over there, está ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí tiene que ocupar usted, ¿verdad? That or those. That para singular y those para plural. Eso, eso. Ya, yeah, those, click on that one. Correct, you see? Uh, nice. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you may continue. ¿Será que me puede repetir esas reglas, por favor? Solo para anotarlas y tenerlas. Si gusta, ah. se, la, se la voy a... Bueno, se, sí se la voy a repetir, pero después lo, lo, vamos, lo voy a escribir para que todos lo tengan. Sí, okay. es... Que, over there, que es esta frase que está acá, significa ahí, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Sí, sería esa, esa es la clave para que usted ocupe that de eso y el dos de esos, porque no están a su alcance, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Están, digamos, en... Lejos. Una repisa, digamos, o algo, ¿verdad? Y alguien se los tiene que alcanzar, por ejemplo. Eh, entonces, ah, okay. el dat es singular y el dos es el plural. Ajá, el uso, digamos, que es similar, solo que tenemos que ver si es plural, es plural o singular. Exactamente. exactamente. Okay. Y si, si, si la frase, digamos, de, de que le dicen a usted, ¿verdad? Para ubicarlo, le dicen here... O uh, it's under you, no sé, so next to you, usted va a decidir, ¿verdad? Ok, aquí está, ¿verdad? Esto, ¿verdad? So this is my cell phone, right? It's in here. Aquí está. ¿Verdad? Pero digamos que el ventilador, yo aquí lo tengo, the fan, it's over there, ¿verdad? That's the fan. Ahí está. Ok. okay. Yeah, continue, pues. All right. Workers are more productive than those ones. Um. Okay. Okay. Está en plural Sería Primero tiene que ubicarse, ¿verdad? Si está cerca o lejos That's Cerca the first o lejos point. Right? That's the first point Sería todo um, No Pero es que ahí está cerca, no está lejos Exactly, exactly Ah, sí, 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 sí Sería this, this. Es como que, no, 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 but that's singular because this, plural is working. This, Trabajadores. This, 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 this. Es una I bien marcada y larga, ¿verdad? No. Esa es la tercera opción. Tercera opción. This, no, this. La, okay. la con E. This, Ajá. Plural. This. Plural. It's a pl plural. plural. Correct. Usted dice, estos trabajadores son más productivos que aquellos. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Aquellos. Ok. So, these workers are more productive than those ones. Right? Estos estudiantes son más productivos que aquellos. Y así le puedes decir a todos los workers. Right? <laughs> 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 okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Esta es This is that. Sí. Es that, perdón. Okay. That. Muy bien. Sí, ¿verdad? Pues ya sí, charro sí. que cayó la, cayó la guardia costera. Negra, la negra, <risa> chaneque. Hoy sí, okay. señor. Se no, comprendió okay. la cosa. Se comprendió. <risa> No, no, this? no. This, 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 no, it, this is a painting by Van Gogh, but this is a painting yeah. by Rembrandt, all right? Okay. okay. Time, you must try harder to pass the exam and not fool it again. 
I think it's this también. This, this. Time. You're right. No, you are right. This. 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 You're right. This time you must try harder. But esta, esta vez tienen que intentarlo, verdad, con con mayor eh, seriedad, digamos. To pass the exam, tiene que esforzarse más. Right. Is the bus stepping in this direction or? Uh -huh. That or that, that direction? That, yes. That, correct. Yeah. Good. Click on that one, please. Yes, that's good. All right. No more questions. No more questions. Refresh the page. Okay, that's it. You finish already. All right. Okay. Yeah, no more questions. Yeah, ganamos. <laughs> yeah, you won already, ¿verdad? Ganamos un vale, ¿verdad? Ahí en el super. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. Pase, ¿verdad? Ahí va, al foro 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you finish already. You finish already. All right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Le mandamos esta captura, ¿verdad? Please. Thank you. All right, so I will see you in two minutes. All right, okay, I will see you like you. in two minutes. You're welcome. Ahorita pongo sus nombres, chicos. Tendré que ser this, porque están cerca de estas cajas. Ajá, que se pongan en la esquina con las otras. Sería this. No, pero está en plural. No, es plural. This. Ah, this is. Ah, correcto. Otra vez, Pesalín, correcto. It's incorrect. It's das. Those. Those. Aquellas. Mm. <laughs> sí, esa es. Those. Those. Hello. Hello. You're having a debate over here, right? You're having a debate. Estamos teniendo un debate, verdad? Sí, verdad? Colorado. Tranquilo, verdad? No es el fans ni la alianza. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, next, excuse me, my driver. When does bus by in, in singular? Uh -huh. Por qué? Ah, porque me dijiste que era lo que teníamos alejado de nosotros. Ajá, uh -huh. no es humano. Es correcto. Can you pass me that book beside you, please? Ahí está. Ahora pasamos al siguiente. Pasemos. ¿Qué oración le aparece ahí? Me aparece otra. Me aparece uh -huh. worker are more product, product that does one. Than those one, yes. Workers are more productive than those ones. Mm -hmm. Entonces es, ¿cuál? So these, is it, yeah. These workers are more productive than those ones. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So is these, right? These, right? Or these. These. Estos ah. trabajadores, ¿verdad? These workers are more productive than those ones. Estos es trabajadores. These. Es aquí. Correcto. Ajá, these. Next question. Dice. Compañera, dice. He doesn't need. ¿Ah? Sí, seguí. He doesn't like. Shoes here. Dos one. ¿Cuántos zapatos está? Excuse me, driver. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yeah. What? All right. So, what's the one you're working on right now? Oh, if you want, Sonia, project. Yeah. Ah, no, no, no le da. Okay. Mm -hmm. me, me cambió la pantalla. Yeah, okay. Me salió el de grandpa, eh, my grandparents live in, esa tiene usted también. Let's see. My grandpa, 
Uh -huh. My grandparents live in Algo house over there. No, no le sale de esa manera. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, my grandparents live in house um, over there. Yeah, I have it there. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. por ahí vamos. Let's see. Uh, if you want, I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to stay with you for one minute. All right? Okay. Okay, one second, please. Let me close the rooms. There you go. All right, we have one more minute. My grandparents live in, is it, is it uh, that or this? Over there, right? It's over there. It's that. Yes, um, that. Yeah, correct. That. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay. Next one. Uh, mm -hmm. No. Uh, it's, it's a painting not, by a painting Van Gogh, Van but this is a painting by Rembrandt. Okay. That. That. It could be that, or it could also be this, because we need the context. But we don't know if the painting is closed. In este caso, no sabemos if the painting is closed to you, or if you're like seeing it like far away. So we don't really know. Uh -huh. But I think it's this. All right, I think. Oh. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's this. All right. So welcome back, everyone. And sorry, Miss Sonia, and um, that I. You know, was interrupted when I was doing this. I'm sorry, Miss Vanessa. Okay, it just started uh, to rain, but let's let's try to complete this activity. Okay, let's try to complete this activity. I will ask some of you to help me uh, complete this. Okay, I will, we're gonna do this randomly. I'm just gonna choose five students. Solo voy a elegir a cinco de ustedes. So, and I will do this randomly if you don't mind. All right. Uh, I'm going to start, Miss. Um, let's see here. If I see that you are actually over here, um, Miss Susana Portillo, please. Uh, Miss Susana Portillo, would you help us with this one, please? Yes. Thank you. This, this, this yes. time you must try harder to pass the exam and not fail it again. Not fail it again. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yes. Uh, next question over here. Then I'm going to pass the station in this direction or that direction. That direction, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next one, please. Ah, I'm sorry. You're done. You're very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You're very lucky, all right? <laughs> Vibrada, verdad, por el, el ejercicio, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Save by this. That's the end. Okay. Let me refresh this. And just to give the feedback in there, all right? Hold on, please. I'm going to click on this. And I will give you the feedback. It just start uh, study raining. Uh, so hopefully you're able to listen to me uh, just fine. Espero que me escuchen. Bien. But I'm going to write the rules over there. All right, this, it's singular, right? Hold on. This is singular and when something, when something is closed, all right? When something is closed to you, all right? Oh, reachable. Or it's alcanzable, ¿verdad? Or you have it in your hands. Or you have it in your hands. Okay. Esa es la regla, ¿verdad? I'm sharing with you the rule over there. And what are the words that, that are going to help you um, identify this? ¿Cuáles son las palabras, verdad? What are the clues? Las claves son... Uh, here, over here, okay, that one, it's up here or over here, right, a key, okay, just like that, and what would be the plural of that word, the plural that this is these, right, this, just like that, so this is plural, and it's also 
is also, all right? When it's close to you, all right? When it's close to you or it's reachable, alcanzable, reachable, or you have it in your, in your hand, okay? Or in your hands. So what would be the other uh, thing to practice in here? So that, it's also singular, all right? Sorry, it's singular and it's far away from you, all right? It's far away from you. Está lejos de su alcance, ¿verdad? O es unreachable. O no es alcanzable, ¿verdad? Or you do not have it in your hands, all right? O usted no lo tiene, you don't hold it, okay? Now, in those, significa aquellos, o esos, dice uno, those, it's plural, right? And it's also far away, then you don't have it in your hands, all right? You don't have it in your hands. ¿Cuáles son las palabras claves? The clues are over there. Or, so, or something else, right? O otra frase que, verdad, que, que, que lo defina, verdad? O que le dé la pista en there. Would you like me to share these rules with you, my friends? Si gustan, les comparto el texto y se lo mando a WhatsApp para que tengan las reglas por ahí. Yes? Would you like me to? Okay, I can yes, do this. Yes. Right, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. So that's what we have right now. Okay? And with this, we close this topic beautifully. All right? Beautifully. I hope so. Espero que no se desconfigure y todo eso. There you go. All right? Okay. All right, so just one moment, please. I'm just going to just. Okay. If there are no more questions, we're going to move on with another activity, which is the, the topic for this evening. All right, which is the topic for this evening. Okay. And uh, I'm about to share the screen with you in a moment. Sharing the screen. Um, one moment, please. I hope that rain does not interrupt the uh, communication that we have and that you are able to listen uh, to me just fine, all right? Hold on. Okay. So now there comes the opportunity to study the difference of can versus could, could. So can and could, all right? So that's what we have. So now let's pay attention to that one, please. And I will share with you this um, chart. ¿verdad? Vamos a compartirle este, este cuadrito que está por acá en el chat. And that's what I'm going to send to you right now, okay? I'm sending this to you as I'm speaking. So just one second, please. Come on. One second. I'm sharing with you that chart. Les estoy mandando el cuadrito, ¿verdad? Para que usted lo tenga de referencia. Just one. Just one moment. Yeah, when it rains, the connection gets a little bit slow. So I don't think you're getting this uh, right now. Permítame, vamos a revisar esto. Uh, I can, bueno, aprovechemos, verdad, de... Eh, cambiar, verdad, de asunto acá. En lo que les estoy mandando, ¿verdad? Vamos a cambiar ya de tema y todo, ¿verdad? Estiremos las manos, las piernas, tomemos agua un poquito, ¿verdad? Un par de minutos de relax, ¿verdad? Para que no nos fundirnos. 
eh, y comenzamos con el otro tema, ¿verdad? Ahí está ese cuadrito. Let's get familiar with that one. I have it here in my cell phone. Ok. Ahí está el cuadrito. Es de referencia. And then we take it from there, right? You take it from there. Ok. For, for the next five minutes, uh, we, I'll be explaining this to you. All right? Siguiente cinco minutos vamos a tratar de explicar. Y vamos a ir, ¿verdad? El punto A y el punto B. So I'm going to talk can and I will compare it with could. And then we, we will do a conversation, right? And some other activities over there. So for the next hour, stay with us, please. Hopefully you're going to learn something new, ¿verdad? Eh, espero aprendamos algo nuevo de esto. Y si no, va a ser como un repaso. It's going to be a review. So here we go. Eh, we use can for general ability. General ability. For example, I can speak English, or you can say I can speak English, uh, or I can speak basic English. Después decir puedo hablar uh, inglés básico. Okay, very well, muy bien. Or I can speak Spanish, right? Or I can drive or something. Could it's a general ability in the past. General ability in the past. I remember. Uh, some of you, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Miss Carmen Hernandez. She asked me, I think on Friday, all right, or last week, uh, like the difference between can and could, all right? And I told her that basically could is the past of can, all right? But in reality, it's just a modal verb, es un verbo modal, that we used to talk about an ability in the past. Aunque en realidad solamente pura casualidad es un verbo modal que se ocupa para hablar de una habilidad en el pasado. Okay? Okay, so let's continue over here. That's the first one, right? Let's like say that this is the first thing, right? Number two, can ask for permission, right? And this is informal, right? So you say, can I borrow your pen, please? Aquí me voy a salir un poquito, ¿verdad? Del huacal. Borrow means prestar, ¿verdad? Tomar prestado. And it could be anything, right? It could be money, uh, personal items, or something, right? Cuando usted pide prestado, va a ocupar borrow, ¿ok? Présteme el lapicero, ¿verdad? Présteme el lápiz, présteme eh, una llamada, ¿verdad? Can I borrow your cell phone? Can I borrow your pen? ¿Verdad? Prestar. ¿Verdad? Usted lo pide. Can I? All right? Por eso está diciendo permiso. You know, ask for permission. Okay? Can I ask you a question? Le puedo hacer una pregunta. Can I ask you a question? In there. Okay. Could. Ask for permission. Same thing, but it's more polite. Esta palabra nada que ver en español. Polite. Significa cortés. Educado. All right? Polite. Es decir, que cuando usted ocupa could, está siendo educado, ¿verdad? Está siendo más cortés. Could I use your bathroom, please? Or could I, ¿verdad? Cuando está la D al final de, de la, una palabra, se hace una R y se une con la siguiente vocal. All right? You join the sound over there. So, could I use your bathroom, please? Okay. Now, this is number two, right? Now, let's do number Three or something like that, all right? Tres un poquito chueco. To request something, all right? Pedir algo, ¿verdad? Can't you help me, please? All right? And if you want to be more polite, you say, could you pass me the salt, please? Or could you help me, please? Aquí solamente te está siendo cortés o siendo más educado, all right? Uh, could you pass me the salt, please? Number four. Um, it can get very cold there at night. Possibility, right? Possibility. It can get very cold there at night, ¿verdad? Puede, ¿verdad? Volverse muy frío ahí en la noche, ¿verdad? Maybe that's the desert, right? It's a desert. Okay? Or it's my room, what you're talking about in there. So, could, possibility in the past, right? You could have broken your leg, ¿verdad? Te pudiste o se pudo haber quebrado una pierna. Okay. 
Uh, this one, uh, we're going to cross it out just for a second because I don't want you to get confused. We're going to put it in standby. Este, este uso cuatro de, de could eh, es una estructura gramatical un poquito más pesadita. This one, as you can see. Uh, no lo hemos visto. Vamos, esperemos verlo un par de módulos por ahí. ¿verdad? O el siguiente módulo. Ok. Entonces, but it's a possibility. All right. In the, in, in, the, in, the, in the past. Te pudiste haber quebrado. Well, it didn't happen, right? No sucedió de esa forma. Pero pudo, ser, pudo haber sido peor. All right, but we're not going to use it uh, just for the records oh, in esta ocasión. Okay, so let's skip to number five. No es que esté incorrecto, ¿verdad? Sino que ahorita no es necesario ponerse eso para no confundirnos. So offer to help someone. Cuando usted ofrece su ayuda, ¿verdad? Su asistencia. Can I carry your bags for you? All right. Can I bury? Can I, can I uh, um, carry your bags for you? All right. Can I help you? All right. How can I help you? ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? ¿Verdad? Cuando usted va a una tienda y le dice, how can I help you? ¿Cómo le ayudo? ¿Verdad? ¿En qué le ayudo? Or it's a suggestion as well, to whether when asked what to do. A suggestion, ¿verdad? Pero vámonos con el could. We could go to the movies if you like, ¿verdad? Usted está diciendo, ¿qué vamos a comer? Ah, podríamos comer tal cosa, ¿verdad? Es como una posibilidad a la misma vez, ¿verdad? En esa suggestion, en esa posibilidad. Ah, um, no sé, podríamos hacer tal cosa, ¿verdad? You are suggesting something. We could go to the movies if you like, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere o si usted prefiere, podríamos ir al cine. All right? And, okay, the number six, we have can not, all right? Or can't, which means not allowed. Last uh, week, we covered something, all right? And we covered, let's see, uh, let's see if I can find it here, right? Remember that we covered this the activity to talk about uh, prohibition, right? Things that we, we are not allowed to do. Cuando se nos dice que no podemos hacer algo, no está permitido, ocupamos el can't, all right? Like that, remember? We did this last week. So this has relationship with what we're doing right now. It tiene mucha relación o relación directa con lo que estamos haciendo. So let's go back. You see, you cannot smoke in this room. Si usted lo quiere decir y que la gente no le quede ni la más mínima duda, usted lo, lo va a decir de forma eh, sin contractar, ¿verdad? Regular. You cannot, o de la forma completa, you cannot smoke in this room. All right? Así la persona le va a decir, no, yo le entendí que usted me dijo que sí podía, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, yeah, right. No, you cannot, all right? Y lo mismo pasa con el could, ¿verdad? Usted va a decir, you could not do that, ¿verdad? Usted no podía hacer eso y así lo hizo, ¿verdad? You could not, ¿ok? Eh, you can't go to the party, ¿verdad? Esta T, de hecho, es muda, right? You can't go to the party, o por lo menos usted reduce casi al 100% la pronunciación de la T o la fuerza. You can't go to the party, right? No, you can't go, all right? Yeah, sure, go. Es, eh, para que usted note la diferencia cuando es positivo o negativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, number six. Y aquí, fíjese, es condicional, ¿verdad? Una cosa tiene que pasar, ¿verdad? Para, para que la otra, ¿verdad? O sea, cause y effect. Okay. Cause y effect. If we had some origins, si yo tuviera naranjas, I could make you some fresh juice. Si yo hablara inglés de una forma avanzada, eh, no sé, aplicaría un mejor trabajo, o me fuera mejor en mi trabajo. Si usted se fija, ¿verdad? Es para algo condicional. It's a conditional. Over there. So this one, uh, we're not going to study this, porque en este, en este módulo, ahí por la última semana, vamos a estudiar algo que se llama el condicional cero, ¿verdad? Y vamos a ver la forma de cómo escribir una oración por ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, is there any questions for me right now? All right. Is there any questions for me? No, right? I think. Sure. Uh, yes. Sure, please. Yes. Could you repeat the number five, please? Number five. Yes, sir. All right. So when you offer your help to someone, when you go to uh, to the supermarket, all right, and there is this uh, back man. No es el, el, el Batman, ¿verdad? Sino que es el Batman, el, el muchacho o la muchacha que le ayuda de la voz, ¿verdad? En, a empacar. So, and then he or she tells you, ¿le ayudo? Le van a decir a usted, ¿can I help you? 
or may I help you? Le ayudo con la bolsa, no sé, can I take this to, to uh, the car with you? Because they're looking for a tip, right? Because that's what they do, right? Because it's how they earn a living. Entonces, cuando usted le ofrecen la ayuda o la asistencia, le van a decir, Mr. Uh, Armando, can I, can I help you? All right? Le ayudo. Okay? Eh, cuando ocupan el could, no le estamos... Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. When, when, cuando ocupamos el could, no le estamos ofreciendo algo, sino que le estamos sugiriendo. Okay? I could help you, right? Usted puede decir, I could help you. Yo le podría ayudar. Es como que le está sugiriendo y se está ofreciendo. <laughs> All right. So I could help you. I could do that for you. Yo lo puedo hacer por usted. You see that one? It's like a possibility. Slash. Solamente para terminar. En la vida real, el contexto le va a decir, ¿verdad? Cuando usted está eh, refiriéndose a una possibility, a una ability, ¿verdad? A una request, a, a suggestion, and things like that. Sí, por favor, continúe. Uh, somebody asked over there. Aparte de Mr. Luis, um, que lo interrumpí, que iba a decir algo. Or it was you, Mr. Luis. Oh, I. Okay, okay. sir. Go ahead, please. I have a question. Uh, yes. Was, what is different? Can I help you or may I help you? Yeah, as you can see here. Okay, well, number two. You see what's in parentheses here, Mr. Gamero? Can you see that? This? Mr. Oscar? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. If you use can, it's informal, right? But if you use may, it's formal, like could. All right? So it, it's, uh, it's more polite to ask, may I help you, right? O sea, es más cortés, menos pedrada, okay? And you say, can I help you with that, All right? Digamos que es más casual decir, eh, can I help you? Y luego, eh, en cuestiones de customer service o servicio al cliente, a uno lo entrenan para decir, may I help you? All right? Porque usted está ofreciendo algo, ¿verdad? Entonces se nota que más o menos quiere ayudar, ¿verdad? And that's the idea. Yes, Mr. Oscar, that's the difference. All right? Okay, is there any questions for me right now? Or not? No questions? whatsoever okay uh if there are no questions this is the opportunity for us to practice all right and there is something that i'm gonna uh, point out over here right grammar rules ahorita no les mencioné nada de gramática ni nada sino que solo les dije el uso y todo eso verdad entonces but what would happen all right que pasaría if you need to decide how to write something down over there right so what will happen if you need to decide how to write something down? Let me just one second over here. I need to correct this, all right? Um, so I don't get in trouble, all right? Let me just put this and there we go. Permítame. Quiero escribirles la regla acá, verdad? Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Write this down, please, or I'm gonna share it with you. Um, and I'll be using, I would say, I can play soccer very well, all right? This is a hypothetical situation. This is the correct way to say that, right? Yo puedo uh, jugar uh, football, right? Esto es hipotético, right? <laughs> it's hypothetical, right? It's hypothetical. So, um, it, the negative would be two ways, right? I cannot play blah, 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 right? And you continue that way. Or I can't, um, let's see, let me correct this. Oops. All right, I'm gonna use this apostrophe. I know that's not the correct one, but it's difficult to find the right one. All right, in here. I can't play blah, 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 right? Play soccer in there. Um, well, I use this, all right, soccer. The rest is just, the complement. Lo demás es el complemento, entonces no en realidad no es necesario. Okay, so you have to do it that way. But if you do this, I can't, sorry, I can't to play. To play? Bam, that's incorrect, my friends, right? That's incorrect. This is wrong, right? This is wrong. Don't do it. Or if you say, I can play in. 
All right. Okay, that's also wrong. All right, that's wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, basically. And it's the same with with uh, with could. Imagínense que esto era could, ¿verdad? Eh, lo voy a poner, ¿verdad? When I was a child. ¿Qué podía hacer yo, verdad? Malía, ¿verdad? Eh, I could um, ride a bike. Okay. Uh, let's see very well, ¿verdad? Cuando estaba pequeño, podía eh, montar bicicleta bastante bien. Okay, so you cannot add, usted no le puede agregar ni el to, ni puede hacer este verbo en ing, like that, that's incorrect. Okay. Y lo negativo sería así, ¿verdad? Couldn't, just like that. So, no le puede agregar, no lo puede escribir. Could to write. Tampoco puede escribirlo. I could write in. Okay. That's incorrect. All right. So remember that, please. En los verbos modales como estos que estamos viendo, can and, and could, you don't add to and you don't make it an ing, ¿verdad? No le agrega nada, ¿verdad? Ni el infinitivo de nada, ni el, el gerundio al verbo. ¿verdad? Nothing like that, please. Please. Be careful. Right? Be careful with that one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you right now. So one second, please. Let me send this to you right now. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to you right now. So just one second. Uh, all right, there you go. One moment, please. If there are no questions, I'm gonna give you the opportunity for you to practice this, and you're gonna do this individually. Uh, and then you're going to compare with your classmates. All right. Vamos a hacerlo de forma individual y luego vamos a compartir, ¿verdad? O comparar o copiar. <laughs> all right. With your classmates over there, right? It's up to you. All right. So I don't judge you, right? No lo juzgo. Okay. Here with me just one second. But ya les comparto la actividad. Hydrate, please. Hidratémonos. All right. With water, by the way. All right. That's water. Okay. El comercial de Date Agua. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Date Agua. Esto ha sido este, patrocinado por... <risa> agua de la roca. Agua. Yes. The rock water. De la chorrocola. Chorrocola, correct. Eh, I'm sending this to you right now. Hold on, please. There you go. All right. That's one moment. Eh, yeah, there you go. I'm going to share the screen with you again. All right. I'm going to share the screen with you. Eh, si usted comparte pantalla, le suplico que borre en la dirección web, ¿verdad? Que es la que está en la, en la parte superior, ¿verdad? La parte de la lupa que está ahí, ¿verdad? Ya lo vamos a mostrar. Eh, no voy a hacer que nos bajen el canal, ¿verdad? Y si nos toque pagar cosas. <laughs> All right. Dama. Yeah, that may happen, right? <laughs> a mí también se me va, ¿verdad? Como dicen allá en mi pueblo, la piscucha. Así que that happens, all right? That happens. So, let's see. These, uh, no, I'm sorry. There are 10 questions in this quiz. Read the grammar explanation below, all right? No tiene que leer nada aquí, ¿verdad? Ni nada, porque no hay nada, right? It says, which sentence is correct? So, in this quiz, all you have to do is identify if the sentence is correct. In total, ¿verdad? from number one to number 10, you need to identify if the item is correct. Sorry. Eh, se tiene que identificar si, si el item está correcto o no. Entonces, which sentence is correct? So we have, we can visit in you of the weekend. I came to see you today. My parents can come to the party. De hecho, yo les di la respuesta con esa regla gramatical, ¿verdad? So I gave you the answer, right? I gave you half the answers over there. So you should do that individually and then let's say if you click on the incorrect one all right it's going to tell you that it's incorrect right okay and then you have no score uh but let's say but then you click on the uh correct one and it's going to tell you correct over there okay y ya le dice verdad el score verdad lo que pasa que aquí si usted la tuvo mala no le va a subir el score aunque usted le dé show explanation all right 
Y si le da el show explanation, aquí le va a dar la explicación que yo le acabo de dar, ¿verdad? Solamente que aquí, ¿verdad? Versión tomo 1, 2 y 3, ¿verdad? De los libros de Océano. Así que. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm true. I mean, it's true over here. I mean, I'm not saying that that's bad, but we don't really have the time right now. ¿verdad? No tenemos el tiempo para hacerlo. And then you, you click hide explanation, ¿verdad? Oculta la explicación. And then you click on next. You go number two, you can play the violin. Can you play the violin? Play the violin, please. Okay, when you ask a question, yo siempre menciono esto y perdone, perdone verdad, mi, mi, el folclore que ocupo, pero le va a dar vuelta a la tortilla, usted no va a decir, you can play the violin, porque no está aseverando, sino que está preguntando, y va a decir, can you play the violin? Could you play the violin, all right? Can you play soccer? Can you speak English, all right? Can you use the computer? All right, when you ask the questions over there. Entonces usted va a elegir la correcta and you continue over there. Now, once you finish, share with me your screen, uh, I mean, the, uh, your score, uh, and wait, please, for further instructions. Cuando termine, ¿verdad? Compártame el, el score, el puntaje, y, y vamos a esperar un poquito más de, de tiempo. Vamos a darles un, uh, two minutes over here, right? I'm going to take the time. Para que todos lo podamos hacer. Si ya lo comenzó a hacer, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Pero I'm going to give you two minutes right now. Hold on. Eh, here we go. Sharing the screen right away. One second, please. And one moment. Aquí está. Vale. Vamos a hacerlo de forma equitativa, ¿verdad? Para que todos tengamos la el tiempo de vida. All right. We, we're going to have two minutes right now. Go ahead, please. Everyone, start right now. If you haven't started. Okay. Please. Thank you. So we're going to have two minutes. Hold on. All right. So just one moment. All right, just one second moment here. Mm. Okay, so one more minute, please. All right, so um, 20 more seconds in here, right? 20 more seconds. Thank you.
Perdón, perdón, perdón. Les decía que ya les tengo lista la otra actividad, ¿verdad? Y que ustedes van a decir si nos explota. ¿verdad? Entonces, <laughs> yeah, that's not the idea either, right? Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so can I have a, one volunteer, please, that can help with, with number two, three, four, and five, ¿verdad? Un voluntario, por favor, que se anime a hacernos, uh, ¿verdad? El desarrollo de la actividad. Somebody, please. Uh, a gentleman or a lady, anybody, please. It's okay if you already participated, ¿verdad? No, no hay problema si usted ya participó. Okay? So that's okay, all right? So raise your hand, please, and, and help us, all right? Si nos ayuda, por favor, alguien, please. Me? Me, teacher. All right, thank you. Go ahead, please, Vanessa. Okay. Um... Can you play the violin? Is correct. Yeah. Can you play the violin? Yes. Violin. Next one. Um. The first one. I can't fix your car. I'm not forgetting. That which one is not correct, right? Yes. Not correct. Thank you. Thank you for noticing, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Next. Uh, all right. It's correct. Uh, can you help me, please? The yes, of, of course I can help you. <laughs> All right, can you help me please? Next one. Mm. Uh, the first one, where I can put this box. Yeah, which one is not correct? Yes, because you have to say, where can I put this box? Yeah, you're right. And that's it. Thank you, uh, Miss Vanessa. Okay. All right, so may I have another volunteer, please? All right. Bueno, poco a poco ustedes se van a ir dando, dando cuenta ¿verdad? el uso del idioma, ¿verdad? Que yo de repente les pido, could you help us, please? Or may you help us? I mean, may I help you, please? ¿Verdad? Okay. Maybe a gentleman right now, ¿verdad? Un caballero que se anime. Uh, caballero de la mesa redonda. <laughs> All right. Yep. Please. Somebody, please. Or is it only women power right now? Come on, gentlemen. Mr. Hey, Edwin. Teacher. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah, next one, please. So, which is the correct answer for, for can your brother speak German? Which is the correct one, Mr. Uh, Edwin? No, he can't. In your bird, no, he can, no, he don't can. Okay. No, he can. Mira, aunque parezca broma, pero la segunda opción, ese es un error bien común, ¿verdad? Y más, más de una vez, quizás se nos va a salir, ¿verdad? Ese horror. Pero, I amén, mean, it happens, all right? Don't, don't do it, please continue. Yes, okay. what is the best reply? ¿Cuál es la mejor respuesta? Yes, sure. Could I borrow your pen, verdad? Podrías prestarme tu lápiz, cero, all right? Yes, sure, yes. is that right? Yeah, correct. Yes. Usted me puede decir, verdad? Yes, you could. Claro que sí podría, verdad? Sí, usted lo puede decir, verdad? Pero eso no es común decirlo. So, mejor diga yes. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, o solo diga okay. O, o si usted lo tiene, de una sola vez se lo presta, verdad? <laughs> And you don't say anything, right? You don't say... <laughs> That's in real life, right? Let's continue. Eight, which word completes the, the question? Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Edwin. Sorry, teacher. Se me había ido la señal. Okay, okay. You understand Spanish? Spain. It's cool, teacher. Yes, because it's talking about the past, right? It's the past. Pudiste o pudo entenderle a los españoles. Correct. Uh, next one. Eight. Which word cannot go in the space? ¿Cuál no, no lo complementa, verdad? Do you drive me to the station, please? Can you drive me to the station, please? Or could you drive me to the station, please? It's do? Yes, sir. 
Correct. Correct. The difference between can and could is the, is the level of uh, courtesy, right? El nivel de cortesía, la que divide el can y el could in, this thing, in, that, in that case, right? Uh, and the very last one for you, sir. Which words complete the sentence, right? ¿Cuáles de las dos complementan el enunciado? A, B, or C, sir. Digamos que este es el A. This is B and this is C, ¿verdad? Para que no nos confundamos. A, B, and C. Just tell me. Please. A, Ooh. B, or C. But A, B, or C, Miss Evelyn, sería la A, la B, o la C. Así, sí. forma jerárquica. A, B, and C. La C. Okay, let her see. Let's see over here. Vamos a ver. I could dance really well when I was young, but I can't. Yeah, you're right. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. Why? Because, como el ejemplo que les puse de la bicicleta, ¿verdad? Right? Same example over there. So, eh, I could dance really well when I was young, but I can't now, ¿verdad? Yo, ¿verdad? Podía bailar muy bien. ¿Verdad? Los cumbiones. Okay, but now, <laughs> but now I can't, all right? I can't, okay? Because I have, a, I don't know, an injury on my, on my leg or something, but tengo una lesión o algo. Finish. What's my score? My score is nine, and you can take this again. All right. Now it's almost nine thirty. It's nine twenty-seven. This is the next activity that we're gonna practice right now. All right. And let me just do this. All right. So I don't get in trouble. I'm gonna send this uh, quiz to you right now. Vamos a enviarles este audio. Okay. This conversation right now to the chat. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, creo que cometí un problemita. No borré la URL. Ah, eh, pero en, en el sentido de que usted estaba compartiendo pantalla o cómo? No, no, no. Eh, cuando mandé el screenshot. Ah, no, no, pero es que eso es a mí. No se preocupe. Es cuando nosotros compartimos la pantalla en Zoom y se queda grabado. Como esto se sube a YouTube, la gente empieza a ver, ¿verdad? Ah. Y hemos violado... Eh, los derechos de autor, pero todo aquí Política en el chat. De... Sí, aquí en el chat, no se preocupe. Ah, right. no, pues no la regué tanto. No, 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 that's okay. But thanks for asking, right? Eso clarifica muchas dudas, ¿verdad? Nosotros. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm sharing this screen. As you can see, this is a uh, listening, and it has to do with um, when does the train leave? Cuando parte el tren? Soon or tomorrow? What train will they take? All right. ¿Cuál van a abordar? The first one or the second one, el primero o el segundo. What does the clerk ask to do at the hotel? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué pide, verdad, recepcionista o la persona que lo atiende hacer? ¿Qué le piden, verdad? Make a copy or keep the password. Perdón, ¿qué es lo que pide esta persona al customer, verdad? O a la, o a, o a la persona que se va a quedar en el hotel. Make a copy or keep the password. Hacer una copia, no sé de qué, or keep the password, ¿verdad? O quedarse con el pasaporte. What does the guest ask for? ¿Verdad? Entonces, la persona, el guest, um, el huésped, ¿verdad? ¿Qué solicita él, verdad? ¿Qué pide? ¿Ok? Eh, a pen, a room in the back. All right? We'll see what happens in there. So, This is going to be a uh, individual listening activity. You listen to that, please. And then you share with me your score. All right? Tratemos de hacerlo, por favor. Okay, and let's do it individually. Um, let me just one second come over here, please. Uh, let's see. The audio lasts, let's see how much. Conversation one. Hello. That's one minute or something, right? So I'm going to give you two minutes to complete this activity. Vamos a... Si lo permiten, hacerlo en dos minutos. Vamos a proyectar, ¿verdad? El, el, el tiempo para que así no los interrumpa. Realmente lo están haciendo. One second, please. So, take the quiz and then share with me the, um, the, the, your score, right? Please. And after that, you're going to practice in a break room. Y después practicamos la conversación, ¿verdad? En un grupo reducido. One. One, two, three. Go ahead, please. Two minutes.
All right, so one more minute, okay? All right, so time is up. Time is up. Just one second over here, please. All right, so take a look at my screen, please, in here. All right, so take a look at my screen. Let's see over here. Uh, so I'm going to ask you uh, as a class. So when does the train leave? Soon or tomorrow? ¿verdad? Esto lo podemos hacer como en, en total, ¿verdad? La clase. So uh, it's A or B, soon or tomorrow? Soon, A. All right, so A, soon. Okay, thank you. What, what train will they take? B. All right, the second one. Okay, thank you. What does the cleric ask to do at the hotel? Make a copy. Make a copy, Make a copy all right. Uh, what does the guest ask for? A pen. Okay, it's a pen, check answers, and everything is correct, all right? So now, uh, let me share the screen again, and we're going to practice the conversation in a breaker room at least two times, at least, right? So let me share with you the, uh, the script, okay? Let me just one second. Uh, I'm sending this to you in WhatsApp and also here in the uh, Zoom uh, chat. ¿Verdad? Les comparto el acceso a esto en el chat de aquí de Zoom, ¿verdad? Para que no se pierda. Ahí está. It's the last one. Ok. El último eh, acceso que está en, en el chat de Zoom es el que vamos a ocupar. Please. And uh, cuando usted comparta pantalla, por favor, eh, Borramos, verdad, la dirección web, which is this one. You know, let me just one second, come over there. But wait, we're not, we're not going to practice right now. We're going to go over this, right? We're going to go over this. We're going to get familiar with the pronunciation and stuff, all right? It's, let's see two conversations in there. Vamos a familiarizarnos con la pronunciación, verdad, porque nunca está de más hacer eso, all right? Uh, you see conversation one, train station, and conversation two is the hotel. Right, so those are the scenarios we have, ¿verdad? Son los escenarios que tenemos en este momento. Trate de seguir la, la, el, el audio, ¿verdad? La lectura, ¿verdad? Because I'm going to play it for you right now. Vamos a reproducirlo por ustedes. So let me just one second. Okay, just one moment, please. En el, en, mientras tanto, eh, tenemos tiempo para enviar todavía la captura de pantalla con su puntaje, right? So you still have the time. Here we go. Vamos a reproducir, ¿verdad?, el audio para que usted lea la conversación. All right, with your mind, con su mente. One second, please. And here we go. Right. Conversation one. Hello, can I help you? Yes, can you tell me when the next train leaves for Toronto? It leaves in 20 minutes. Great, can I get two tickets, please? I can get you two seats, but they are not together. Oh, I see. I can get you seats next to each other on the next train. When does that leave? It leaves the next hour. Great. I will take that one then. Can I pay by debit card? Oh, I'm sorry you can't. You can pay by credit card, though. Mm, okay, that will do. Can I get a receipt? Certainly, of course. Conversation 2. Hello, I'd like to check in. Okay, can I get your name, please? It's Johnson. Joe Johnson. Great. Here it is. And can I get some form of ID? Yes. Here's my passport. Thank you. 
Can I make a copy of this? It is hotel policy. Of course. And while I do this, can you fill this out? Gladly. Can I borrow a pen? Yes. Here you go. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. All right. So as you can see, this is a great conversation. There's a mistake over here. All right. Esto es un error que error de dedo que hicieron cuando usted le dicen tome aquí tenga pues aquí están verdad sus papeles o agarre aquí está verdad o aquí lo tiene cuando usted entrega algo. Eh, Here it is. Here it is. Aquí hay que darle vuelta a esto, por favor. Vamos a decir, here it is. Aquí tiene, ¿verdad? Here it is. Here it is. All right? Just like that. It, certainly, right? Certainly or certainly. You may say certainly. But certainly, right? Claro, ¿verdad? Of course, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. Right? Uh, as you can see, in there we have the different uses of uh, can. Uh, like asking for something, making a request, making an offer in there, right? Asking for permission in there. Aquí vemos los, 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 los usos de, de este uh, verbo modal, ¿verdad? Peticiones, solicitudes, eh, le ofrecen algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, things like that, por acá. Mire. Gladly, right? Con gusto, ¿verdad? Gladly. Can I borrow a pen, ¿verdad? Me prestan... Un lapis, lapicero, in there, right? A pen in there. So right now we're going to practice. All right? Ready? Yes? Okay. Here we go. 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes, and the class is over. All right? It's going to be over. Just one second, please. Do you have any questions for me right now? Is there any questions? No? Okay. Just one moment, please. One second. Okay, so let me just make uh, the groups over here and just making sure. Como ahorita tenemos más participantes, tengo que, verdad, reagruparlos otra vez o incluir los grupos. Va a ser un poquito más grandes. Um, yes, one second. Over here. Uh, Just one. Hello. One sec. All right. So here we go, everyone. Join the rooms right now. Thank you. Yeah, join the rooms, please. Thank you so much. Last <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you. Ahí se quedó en stand-by. Sí, está como medio fallando, ¿verdad? Lento. Ah, one second. Mr. Eduardo, good to see you, sir. Hello, sir. How have you been, sir? <laughs> Easy. I haven't seen you around. Yeah, that's what I imagine. All right. <laughs> crazy, right? It's been crazy as hell. <laughs> Se congeló, teacher. Oh, okay. Estamos tratando de, de conversar y se queda congelada la pantalla. Oh, okay. All right, okay. yeah, keep on, keep on trying, please. All right, okay. thank, you. thank you. Voy a compartir pantalla si quieren. Thank you. Okay. Leclerc. Empezamos, Oscar. Okay.
I was the person. Okay. Los... Hello, can I help you? Yes. Can you tell me when the next train leave for tomorrow? It leave in 20 minutes. Of course. Okay. Seguimos con la otra. Mm -hmm. Esta es otra. Hello. Okay. Sí, esta es otra. Hello. I like to check in. Okay. Can I get your name, please? It is Johnson. Joe Johnson. Great. It is an. Can I get some form of ID? Yes. Here is my passport. Thank you. Can I make a copy of this? And it's in, it is out of police. Of course. And while I do this, can you file this code? Kelly, can I borrow a pen? Yes, here you go. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. All right, okay. so hello, yeah, that was very good. Uh, just one thing, we say política de, de la empresa o del hotel, policy, you say policy, policy, como que fuera policía. Policy. Policy, yes. Okay. Sir. Policy, okay. yeah. Then, then the rest, it's okay, all right? Nice, you may continue. Okay, hoy sí. con usted, Antonio. Yeah. Sí, vale. Okay, eh, sí. comienza... Eh, ¿Quién sí. comenzó? Bueno. Okay, that will do. Can I get a receipt? Certainly, of course. Only, I okay. don't see this. Uh, me with Nelson. Okay. Okay. Hello, I like to check in. Okay. Can I get a, Can I get your name, please? It's. It is Johnston. Joy Johnston. Great. Here is it, and can I get some for of ID? Yes. He is my passport. Thank you. Can I make a copy of this? It's a hotel police. Of course. And while, and while I do this. Can you fill this out? Landy, can I borrow a pen? This? Is this hotel policy? Of course. And while I do this, can you fill this out? Gladly. Can I borrow a pen? Yes, here you go. You'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Okay. Carmen, borremos la URL. Ya está grabando el teacher. <laughs> it's an, an inspection. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm just an observer, all right? I'm just an observer. I'm not here, all right? <laughs> yes. An ya cayó, observer. <laughs> ya cayó la migre. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's see what time is time it is right now. One more minute and then we, uh, we will come back. Yeah, okay. literally. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, ahora... <clears throat> okay. That will do. Can I get a uh, receipt? Hello. Hello. Sir, sir, the line of course. Teacher. Yeah. Certainly. 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 Or certainly. 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 Right? Certainly. Of course. Okay. Hello. I would like to check my check in. Me quedé, me sacó. Oh, okay. Sorry about it. Yeah, it's almost time for us to oh. go back to the main station. In 10 seconds, regresamos a la sala principal. All right? Okay. In 10 seconds. All right. Yes.
Any questions for me? Bye. Alguna consulta? No. No. All right. Okay, let's go. All right, so thank you uh, everyone for participating in the conversations over there. The class is not over yet, but todavía no se ha terminado la clase, así que no me malentiendan. <laughs> okay, so in 15 minutes, it's going to be over. All right, so just one second over here. Um, before I share the screen and we continue with, with this thing, so let's see whose turn for the uh, one on one session will be for the, today and the rest of the week. So just one second over here. So According to the uh, calendar, all right, we have for today, Miss Evelyn Patricia, right? Yeah, today is Tuesday. Yeah, I guess you're, you can stay, right, Miss Evelyn? Yes? Can you stay? If you're around? Um, or a not? mí me queda, a mí me toca hoy, teacher, pero no he revisado las clases en las que no he podido estar y de esas sí le quiero hacer preguntas, pero okay. no, no, no me ha actualizado todavía. All right, so let's ya see. Si me puedes uh, poner en, en otro día. Yes, uh, but we'll see. It depends if somebody else wants to advance. No sé si Miss Sonia, maybe you want to. Do it tonight, or maybe Miss Karina today, or Mr. Edwin. Alguien quisiera adelantar. Somebody would like to, you know, you say advance. Yo ese día no puedo. All right, that's okay. I understand. Miss Karina. Okay. Can you make it today? Perdón que les pregunte, verdad? Sí, de una así, verdad? Yeah. Yes. For me, it's okay. For me, it's okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. So, so in, in that case, uh. Miss Evelyn, your term is going to be on Thursday, all right? Miss Evelyn, you're going to be for Thursday, okay? okay? Nice. Thank you so much. So now let's continue with the uh, conversation over here, all right? There we go. So can I have one pair of students, verdad? Una pareja de estudiantes, verdad? Eh, participantes that would like to help us practice the first eh, conversation over there, all right? All right, the teacher. All right, Tony, sir, go ahead, please. Me, teacher. And sure. the other one was... Me, teacher. All right, yeah, go ahead, please. Thank you. So, Tony, you're the clerk. And the other okay. one is, is you, Elizabeth? All right. Yes. All right, thank you. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, Tony, uh, so Ms. Mr. Tony, you're the clerk, and, and then Miss Elizabeth, you're the person, verdad? Okay. Being, being impersonal, vea. <laughs> the person. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. Oops. Ya yeah, me cobraron ya $10. Yes. So, <laughs> adios a la quincena. Adios. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Can I help you? Yes. Can you tell me when the next train leaves for Toronto? Mm -hmm. It leaves in 20 minutes. Can I get two tickets, please? I can get you two seats, but they are not together. Oh, I see. I can get you seats next to each other on the next train. When that, when does that leave? It leaves the next world over. Great. I will say that one then can I pay by debit card? I am sorry, you can't. You can pay the credit card thought. Okay, that will do. Can I get a receipt? A receipt? Certainly, of course. All right, yeah, that was very good, right? That's very good. So can I pay by, by debit card? You can pay by credit card though. Perdón, aunque usted puede pagar con tarjeta de crédito. Uh, that will do. Así está bien, ¿verdad? Okay, no, no hay problema. That will do, right? Eso lo va a solucionar. Can I get a receipt? All right, receipt. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Tony and Ms. Uh, Elizabeth. Okay. All right, so let me have... Two more volunteers, please, for the conversation of the hotel, ¿verdad? Si es posible alguien que no haya participado, ¿verdad? Dos participantes, por favor. Miss Evelyn, thank you so much. And Mr. Antonio, right? Thank you. Right? We have Mr. Tony and Mr. Antonio, right? 
because I heard that they call you <laughs> Antonio, right? Okay. Uh, we have the guests. Uh, it's gonna be Miss Evelyn, if you don't mind. Uh, and then the clerk uh, is gonna be Mr. Antonio, right? Mr. Antonio, you're the clerk and Miss Evelyn, you're the guest. Go ahead, please. Okay. okay. Hello, I would like to check in. Okay, can I get your name, please? It is Johnson, Joe Johnson. Great, here is it. And can I get some for of ID? Yes, here is my passport. Thank you. Can I make a copy for this? This is a hot, hotel policy. Of course. And why I do this? Can you fill this out? Gladly. Can I borrow a pen? Yes. Here we go. I will be right back. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Antonio. And then Ms. Evelyn, I appreciate your help over here. All right. Nice. So we finished with uh, this conversation and everything, but now I'm going to ask you to do the following, verdad? Le voy a hacer una breve solicito. One second, please. To everyone right now. All right. Uh, let's see over here. All right. I'm going to share the screen and there you go. All right. So uh, think about, listen to this, please. Think about activities that you can, voy a ponerle un mayúsculo solamente o solo para recalcarlo, ¿verdad? Pero eso no es tan correcto hacer. That you can do very well at your job or company or profession. All right? A profession or let's see, or occupation. For example, if you're a lawyer, a doctor, the, um, uh, electrician, technician, logistics manager or agent, customer service, uh, uh, provider, uh, anything, right, that you do, right? A publicist, you're gonna write a three uh, task, you know? Write, uh, write or three tasks, that you can do very well, right? Pensemos en tres actividades o tres asignaciones, ¿verdad? Que usted hace, ¿verdad? Bastante bien, ¿verdad? O que usted lo hace bien, okay? And think about, let's see, uh, and write one um, ability that you can Voy a ponerla aquí, ¿verdad? En mayúscula, solo para cuestiones de can do. All right. Okay. Now, listen, please. The class is almost over, right? Pero con esto creo que nos podemos despedir. En unos dos minutos creo que podemos avanzar. So, vamos a pensar en actividades relacionadas a su trabajo que usted puede hacer bastante bien. Okay. O que usted en realidad sí maneja, ¿verdad? Por su área, ¿verdad? Eh, si es ventas, cuestión de mantenimiento, si es cuestión de asesoría legal, logística, lo que usted haga, ¿verdad? En su área, piense tres que oh, esto me sale bien, ¿verdad? No sé, redactar correos, you know, write emails in there. Ok. Uh, give uh, uh, consultations, right? Or something like that. No sé, dar asesoría, you may say that, right? So, uh, and things like that. Y piensa en una, digamos, que usted diga, mm, that's my area of opportunity, ¿verdad? Algo que yo no puedo hacer todavía, ¿verdad? Pero sí quisiera aprender. I want to learn over there. Right? Like a learning opportunity, como un área de, de mejora over there. Uh, we only have three minutes to think about this, right? Quizás por lo menos pensemos en las tres actividades que, que nosotros sí manejamos bien en la empresa o en nuestra profesión. ¿Ok? It could be something that you do, I don't know, uh, Leading a meeting, right? No sé, liderar una reunión in there, right? Writing a report or sending emails 
ok, organizing an event, ¿verdad? Organizar un evento, pero no lo vamos a escribir así como yo se lo estoy diciendo, sino que estaba a poner en primera persona, I can organize uh, events, ok, very well, puedo organizar eventos, ok, I can submit orders, all right, very well, yo puedo, ¿verdad? Enviar las órdenes de, de lo que sea por ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, I can write emails, uh very well you know or formal english i mean or formal uh with formal language puedo redactar correos verdad o lenguaje formal o profesional bastante bien okay things like that uh let me ask somebody here that i that can confirm us over here perdón miss miss saray que la moleste solamente me confirma eh, no sé de recibido <laughs> como hacemos en las empresas verdad la indicación <laughs> All right, please. Sí, vamos a hacer eh, tres oraciones utilizando el verbo que, can uh -huh. eh, de lo que podemos hacer en nuestras ocupaciones laborales. Yeah, de that's lo que correct. podamos hacer bien. Tres, tres dijo. Yes, three. And, and the other one is something that you cannot do, but you want to learn, right? Algo que usted no puede hacer, ¿verdad? Pero sí quisiera aprender, digamos, de su trabajo. O en la vida, no sé. You know, in your life or whatever. I'm going to send this to you. So you have it. Okay. Thanks, you know, to the one that shared the uh, destruction over there, right? Me leyeron la mente porque de hecho enviarles uh, la imagen iba. Qué conveniente, ¿verdad, Mr. Tony? <laughs> así dicen, así dicen. Por ahí los empiezo. <laughs> Aquí está todo está fríamente calculado ya. Ajá, está sí, viendo yeah. todo, sí. I know. All right. So uh, basically the class is over. So uh, think about this. It's no homework. All right. No lo quiero cargar de nada, verdad? Porque tenemos la plataforma que es prioridad. Pero nos vemos mañana y mañana esto es lo primerito que vamos a hacer, verdad? Pero pensemos en algo. A las ocho en punto, si usted se une a tiempo, vamos a hacer esa actividad. So that's what we're going to do. All right. But let's think about that. That's going to be the reflection. Okay, that's going to be the reflection for, for right now. So hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Hey, Miss Karina, please stay with us. Thanks for joining the class, my friends. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Mira, mira, tisha, mira. Ah, mira, verdad. <laughs> See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, sir. Bye. All right, so just one second, Miss Karina, while everybody else, uh, you know, leaves, right? Yes, okay. Sir. Yeah. Si es que a veces se me quedan aquí, ¿verdad? Tengo que mandarlos a la sala de espera. So I have to put them in the, the waiting room. Porque por um, directrices de, de INSAFOR, solamente una persona, y uh, un participante tiene que estar en, en el one-on-one -on -one session. Ah, ok. I, I was in the... Una vez me quedé, como me meto en, en los dos, en With el the teléfono. Cell phone y en, the computer, right? yes. Ajá, yo me salí del, tele, del teléfono. Pero después me fijé que estaba ahí y yo, ay, me quedé toda la clase. <risa> <risa> Qué pena, yeah. dije yo. Pero en esa no escuchaba nada, pero igual Ajá. ahí estaba. Ajá. Ajá. No, pero lo que, lo que hago yo es solo los pongo en espera y no aparecen, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Es como que lo saco, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no, ¿verdad? Porque si, si yo le doy como, ok, sa salir, eh, la voy a bloquear, voy a bloquear al participante y ya nunca se va a volver a ingresar no va a poder ingresar Ajá, entonces hay que tener mucho cuidado con eso <ríe> así que esa vez te sí. libró, ¿verdad? de que la, la banearan <ríe> yeah, that happens you know. so let's see, so how can I help you or on something or should we practice uh, you tell me Miss Karina or you tell me your expectations or something or something. Okay. I don't know. Let me ask you, I'm sorry. Is this your first time or have you been with us before? 
No sé, ¿este es su primera vez en, en, no. en la empresa? No, it's the first time. The first time. Ahora. It's the first time. Okay. But okay. I study in another place, but right. I try to understand and right. try to uh, improve my skills. Yes, that's the idea. But it's the first time. Yeah, uh -huh. but okay. it's the first time that the company yes. pay me. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right. That's great. Yeah. So you, you have to take advantage of this opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah it's the indeed. first time to bring us the opportunity. Yes. All right. Uh, yes. Um, in my work, sometimes is not too much necessary, the English, uh -huh. but uh -huh. I would like to have a new position to can yeah. speak more fluently. Yeah, that's the idea. That's yeah. the idea. And I see. I can see that uh, you you understand uh, what I say, and you practice, and your pronunciation is good, and you just need to um, uh, improve your your fluency, as, as you are saying in there, right? But you have the attitude. Um, uh, you also have um, how can I say it? you are responsible too because you are punctual, <laughs> all right? And you always practice, and you help each other in there, right? So. Thank you for that. All right. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah, I I think the most complicated to me is is uh, speaking. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes I re I read some articles or I watching movies, but yeah. with titles because I my ear noise. It's not it's not very good. All right. It's no 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 not so good. <laughs> it's not very good. All right. It's not it's so. It's not good. very good. It's not very good. All right. But that's okay. I mean, uh, if you watch movies in English, if you listen to songs in English, and if you read articles in English, you're going to uh, increase, verdad? Incrementar. You're going to increase your vocabulary, and then the, you are going to understand more. All right. When uh, when people speak to you, you're going to understand. All right. And, and that's that's okay. Since you're just beginning to learn English. It's okay to watch the movies with subtitles. It's okay, all right? Okay. So don't worry about it, all right? Don't feel worried. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. put the, the, the title, but in English. Yeah. All and right. I try to read it yeah. because yeah. I, my ear is not very good. <laughs> not very good. Yeah, but it's okay since English, it's a process, all right? It's a process. It's going to take you like, I don't know, like a year for you to understand uh, almost everything in English, right? In like a year and a half to speak fluently and have an advanced English level, like a year or so, okay? But if you, uh, let's see, if you are in contact with the language, the time can be shorter, all right? It can, it, it can take shorter, okay? So I think what we're doing right now is good, right? Practicing English. All right. Yeah. And as a teacher, that's my, uh, how can I say that? That's my mission. All right. Okay. To, uh, to motivate you. All right. To speak English. All right. That's my goal. And I hope that you feel happy or that you feel nice in classes uh, and that you want to be here. Right. So I really hope that you feel, the, how can I say this? Like satisfied or glad with the classes. Not because of me, right? But because of the practice, the grammar, the listenings, the exercises, because of your classmates too, okay? I really like uh, your class because it's so spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I like the, the partners. Yes. Because are friendly. Correct. And sometimes they help me to pronunciate Pronounce, 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 the pronounce, uh -huh, the pronounce. They, they help you, they help you uh -huh. pronounce, pronounce, see, ese pronunciar, pronounce, ah, okay, or you can the say, hold, hold on, hold on, you can say, uh, they help me, uh, uh, to say, or they help me say, they help me say, uh huh, they help me say, uh, some words. Some words, yes. Uh -huh. Or the meanings. Yes. Uh, they are so friendly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I have been with them since January, all right? With most of them. Yes. Ooh. 
So I know most of them. That's why you see that I joke, uh, 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 you know, around with them, ¿verdad? Por eso usted se fija que yo los molesto, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Por ahí, because I know them, right? So right? I've been there, I, I've been with them like almost four months already. Okay, almost four months already. With most of them, right? With most of them, okay? Yeah, uh, I, I choose a, a basic four because I didn't consider uh, myself uh, in intermediate. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, and I want to to learn more. Yes. And I uh, the dynamic and how is the homework? Correct. Uh, uh, but my goal is to can be in in advance. Yes, in advance. On, on finish the the course. The year, the right? By I by have. December, you're gonna have, and I promise that you're gonna have an intermediate level. All right. Okay. Yeah, but it, it all depends on you. I would say, um, I don't know, 70% de depends on you and the 30% depends on the, on the, in the class, right? It depends on the class and your classmates, right? So you need to do the homework. You need to be in class and then practice outside the classroom, all right? Watching videos, which is what you do, right? listening to music and reading, 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 and reading. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you have my, good time, okay? Yes. Yeah, my my boss, so recently my boss uh, gave me a, a book. Yes. Uh-huh. And, and, and I, will, I, I will read. <laughs> yeah, you have to read it. I mean, at least one page a day, right? Two pages and just like that. Uh, let's see what I can do over here. Do you have any questions about the evaluations, about the platform or about, let's see, the rules for, for InstaFor, for me, um, or not? I, I have, a, we have, we will have a, a final exam or I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. That's a good question. Yeah, let me explain it to you, all right? Let me explain it to you uh, like this. Hold on. I'm going to share the screen for you. So one second, I'm over here. And... All right. Um, there's a final exam. Yes, you're right. There's also a midterm exam, which is parcial, un examen parcial, which is the midterm, and then uh, the final exam. But everything is part of the platform, all right? The homework assignments, the uh, midterm exam, and the final exam are part of the platform, all right? Everything is in the platform. So if you get... 100% on the exam on the uh, midterm and, and the uh, activities, homework and everything. So you're going to have more than the 80%. Okay. We ask you as InstaFord and as Ingress Corporativo, we ask you 80% at least. All right. But I know that you can do more and you will do more. Okay. Besides that, we ask you to be in most of the classes, 80% of your attendance, all right? 80%, 20 classes, and you can just miss a couple of ones, right? If I say that, all right? The last one, which is a satisfaction survey, we're gonna complete it until the last date of classes. So don't worry about that yet, okay? okay. Yes, in class, we don't do exams, all right? We don't do midterms, all right? We don't check the platform unless you have a problem with the platform. Si tiene un problema con la plataforma, you can ask me in class or during the day, right? And I can help you. And I will okay. help you, right? Maybe not immediately, right? But I'm going to help you, right? I will help you because that's my job, okay? So that is my job. So as you can see, keeping the scholarship, es, es, es una beca scholarship uh, is... Uh, I would say it's not easy, but you can do it, right? You can do it. It's achievable, ¿verdad? Se puede alcanzar, mantener, ¿verdad? La beca de inglés, right? You can do it. Um, 
uh, yeah, I think that's basically it, right? That's basically it. And let me tell you something. And with this, we can say goodbye. What I try to do is to bring a lot of practices like rhythms, listenings, conversations, grammar practice, quizzes, basically everything, right? Like we said in Spanish, una mezcolanza. That's what I bring to you, right? Okay. And those exercises are like real English. The platform is just a compliment. O sea, los ejercicios de mi clase yo los procuro hacer con un nivel un poquito más alto de la plataforma. All right? Because in that way, I know that I'm helping you. Okay? I know that I'm helping you. O sea, no les, no les doy. Better. I think, yeah, that's actually better. All right? That's actually better. And you feel that the classes are authentic, right? Son auténticas because that's the English, right? It's not me, right? Thing. It's not English corporativo speaking. It's the language you're speaking. ¿verdad? El idioma es el que habla a través de las clases y a través de ustedes, you know, through you. All right? Okay. And that's my compromise with everyone. Okay. I know. Mm -hmm. So thank you for, uh, for, for joining the classes and thank you for speaking English because that's the idea. All right? And welcome aboard. <laughs> Ms. Thank Karina, you uh, yeah. for helping me um, to teach me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. Trust me. Okay. So I hope to see you in class tomorrow. It's time to go to sleep. Okay. And see you tomorrow. Yeah. I have a, a homework for Excel. Oh, I have okay. this, the INSA for Excel uh, two. <laughs> course on Saturday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye.